Hello, my YouTube family. It's me, Lindsay Star. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys can, please, please hit that like button if you're new to my channel. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure notifications are definitely turned on. And thank you for watching. Uh, I mean, don't forget to share and leave a comment. And thank you for watching. So, anyway, guys, I want to talk to you. You that this is the last video of my last video for 2017 2018 there'll be a lot of videos coming through um you'll be seeing a lot of stuff from me um as much as i will be working on my gaming channel and doing twitch and other things and to start things off I know that 2017 was apparently the nearly the ups and downs for me. But 2018 will be different. But hopefully, the one thing I'm hoping in 2018, besides I have to deal with the stress of weight loss, but it's probably going to be railroaded by my mother. So. <sighs> That's gonna be fun. Anyway, 2018, I'm hoping to get my first uh, book out. I know you guys are thinking, Lindsay, why you want to do that? You should focus on your gaming channel. I'm like, yeah, I know, but <sighs> my father is putting me into a peril since what he told told my mother and I on Thanksgiving that he wants to retire. Yeah. And I have until September to deal with this madness. And I don't know. I just feel there are a lot of things also going on and I know this is going to be ridiculous but I know there are a lot of things going on and the one thing is that there are a lot of things that have been happening as of late, but I don't know. Though, of course, then again, and I'm kind of worried about things going on, especially where my mother decides to turn up the TV downstairs because she wants to watch something on TV. And considering to be very rude. Or my brother as well. But I think, I think I'm going to be doing a lot of things. I'm going to try my best to stream a lot on Twitch. But I'm also do videos on YouTube. Maybe I'll do streaming back here. I don't know. But the one thing I also need to focus on is to, to do a set up a get my first poetry book out there and I know this is ridiculous but there are a lot of other things that have been going on ever since and no matter how you look at this you know I'm just hoping that whatever I can get things done is the best despite the pure madness of what's going on now uh, within my family that I feel it's going to, to get things worse that's because of my father and because of my mother and because of my brother you know they're pushing and in my boundaries and saying stupid things that they know they shouldn't say like they're like for instance, my parents don't want me to get a job. No. You being a YouTuber, being a Twitch streamer, being a poet, that's my job. Um, I know that it's not helping as much, but it's gonna lead somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. To keep me away from the crappy, miserable jobs because there is nothing nobody wants to hire me i'd rather be 
going through a lot and getting sponsors there's then better than dealing with the garbage my family wants me to deal with. Well, I should say my parents wants me to deal with. Because they don't care about my happiness. All they want me to do is feel miserable. And that's not true. At the end of the day, I really want to make people happy. And if my parents can't accept that, that is my happiness then they shouldn't be dealing with me anymore. And you guys are thinking, you shouldn't emancipate a long time ago. I was like, yeah, I know. I should. Actually, I should have just... I should have just... I should have just threatened with a lawsuit saying, you guys never accepted me as a human being. You just treat me like I'm a second... And I shouldn't say this. They treat me like like I'm a a kid when in fact I'm not. You know all this madness has to stop up. My parents cannot treat me terrible. Well, the only thing I have to do is hopefully things will go according to my ways, according to my plans. Because by the time my father retires, so my mother go crazy. I'm just going to look at them and say, you guys did this to yourselves, not me. Ah, crud. Why is the... Oh, jeez. I cannot believe this. Unless there's a fire going on. Okay, this is kind of a bad situation. That is not good. Mm -mm. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that out, okay guys? It'll have to take it at face value. But, no matter how things are, I mean, when this madness of my parents goes... I'm going to look at them and say, you did this to yourselves. I done nothing to you. No. And when they want me to give them their money for what they have done, I wouldn't because they just want me to be in a miserable place. There's no happiness. For what their excuses are? Oh, to have, to have health insurance. Well, health insurance is gone because my father and the government. And just to let you guys know, you see, this is my glasses. The only one I have since I lost my other pair. And apparently these keep sliding off. And... My mother, and I could tell my mother, but every time I would, she will forget. And this madness needs to stop. And of course, my brother's felt when back to sleep, I can hear him snoring. And it's, uh... Hang on. Yeah, see, it's 11.27. He should be up right now. <laughs> and another thing. That's the other thing. 
My parents also want my brother to get a job. He has a job. Hop, you know, but they, but no, but my parents don't see that as a job. They think it's a volunteering position. And, <laughs> uh, 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 he's getting paid for this. this. And you guys are treating him like, like you're all treating me. Don't care about what we want. We, I only care about what you guys want. <sighs> of course, there's, even though I would have to agree because my brother has do crazy things. But the one thing is the problem is that my mother told him to go get Mucinex. And here's the thing. He shouldn't be taking, taking Mucinex or anything that would have to deal with his high blood pressure. Er, I mean, he should be taking that uh, that medication I've seen the commercials for or that deals with that won't affect your blood pressure. It's called cortisone, I think. I don't know. Cortisone. Anyway, he should be taking that and not Mucinex. Because why? Because he didn't go to the doctor and he has high blood pressure. For me, I don't have that. In fact, that's the other thing. Thing is, you know, all this madness going on and, you know, how much emotional stress I am. Um, somehow, I've been told that I've, even though despite of the weight, heat, they seem so healthy. Then again, how much reliability can doctors be these days? Oh wait, that was a couple of, more than a couple of years ago. Well, I don't know. The only thing that's going to prevent me to go out of control to this family is, you know, things that my family are pushing me to the edge. You know, one thing for sure is I really want to talk to my brother and convince him to start up his YouTube, start up a YouTube channel for himself, you know, to go talk about bowling and stuff. I mean, ever since I had, ever since that, ever since there was a video that was trending on YouTube from Vox and saying that there are oil patterns on, oil patterns on the pulling lanes and I and you know my brother it has work in the bowling alley I, I don't think they ever do that and Vox really went a little too far for that and making things up I mean and not to mention they got a pro bowler who I never heard of or neither has my brother and I'd rather have in somebody like my brother to handle this. Although, ever since, yeah, cause ever since I caught him on, him on somebody's YouTube channel that I really, really want to kick his butt for, or for allowing some guy to expose our real last name, you know, and I just don't want people to find that out, out, because they'll find out him They'll know it's know me, and then they'll try to track us down. <sighs> now, they're gonna say, "Oh wait, so and so, oh, so so and so sibling is on a YouTube channel, so it the so and so is on YouTube. We'll have to find them, and you know, oh, and we'll get autographs and stuff. I mean, that's terrible." Well, I mean, unless, unless, you know, unless you do something, you know, you're not supposed to. But, like I said, you know, I'd rather have my, I'd rather have my brother start up his YouTube channel and talk about bowling and stuff and people to appreciate how he is. Because, at the end of the day, I want to make sure my brother is staying away from things that won't make him go crazy. 
that and plus him staying away from his weird friends he has that's causing him to have this weight gain and I mean seriously hey and I'm just saying this because I have been looking into his Facebook account and this right there is some craziness he did something really gross There's that on a scale to one to Rhett and Link <laughs> on a scale to one to Rhett and Link uh, I would say what he did in head of eating donut color ranch would be falling to a nine to almost red link. <laughs> Why well, am I am well, referring to those uh, guys? Because, well, it's because they have eating things from from that are good to nasty, and I mean really nasty. And uh, <laughs> you should just look look at it on their you on their uh YouTube channel, Good Mythical Morning. And despite of all this nastiness, you know, you know, it's so bad. And you know what's also bad? <laughs> Ugh, you know. Crazy things happening, but for my brother, I just don't like to deal with this kind of craziness, no matter what. But at the end of the day, hey, no matter what my brother does, I really want to support him as much as I want to support others. If it's my brother, or Tim Thompson, or Kenny Omega. Or any of my favorite Twitch streamers out there. Uh, well, mostly Last Life Loomis and Maza. <sighs> anyway, I want to say that no matter what's going to be happening in the new year, 2017 was crazy. 2018, things are going to be better. There. And on top of that, I hope that people will realize that there are people who are preventing things, things from doing goals that we want to do in life. For me, it's my family. They, well, my parents. I don't know much I could say about my brother, but that's all I just want to say. So, 2018 will be the year that I finally break free from this family, this drama. But it won't start and it won't happen until you guys are there with me. Because no matter if I'm on Twitch or YouTube or tweeting on Twitter and also being on Instagram, um, no matter how things are, that I'm hoping in 2018 will be better. Anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. I know I'm messing around with my eyes because <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope 2018 will be best for me and hopefully for you guys. And I will continue on to entertain you guys no matter what. Anyway, Happy New Year to all of you. And especially to my to the people who I care the most. My friend Valentina. My friend Anne. Of course Tim Toms. Uh, Kenny Omega. And of course with Louie, Mezza. And everybody in my Twitch communities, 
these to those who are on YouTube and most of all to my brother who's gonna be gonna be doing what I'm gonna do if I have to convince him and most of all even though she has been a pain in my butt but I mean the ups and downs part the ups parts was going to Florida the down parts is when she was been in hospital and I was worried that I told her she would come home Oh, wait. So, anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button. And, and also, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure notifications are definitely turned on. <laughs> Don't forget to share and leave a comment and thank you for watching. And I knew I forgot Louis last night Flumis is on vacation. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Probably tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Till then. Bye and have a happy safe New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Till then.